Okay, so, Operation Fezcam update. Uh, today is D-Day um, on our preferred site, as we're calling it A-Site. Um, as in the letter A, not a site. You get the point. Um, but yeah, we've, there's other sites, but this is the one that I think myself and Nick really want. It's, it's the one that's going to... Like, there's other sites, but this is the one myself and Nick especially want. And um, Z and Blick uh, are also fully on board with it. They can see the potential for what they want to do with us and everything. So, yeah, this is the A site. Now, as you know, I've been for the last oof, eight months, something like that, uh, been uh, pitching for this site. It's, uh, you know, for those who don't know, so... There's something in business called tendering pro a tender process, okay? So um, not everything goes through a tender process, but with this being an ex-government um, building, um, that's as much as I can say at the moment, is um, there's a tender process to sort of weed out people who are just kind of just getting it on the off chance and weed out, you know. They don't want developers putting houses on the site, for example, or, or on this part of the site at least. Stuff like that, you know? Um it's been a it's a four stage process uh we did stage three um as you probably saw in the last video and uh we find out now if we go through to stage four now we've been waiting for this email to come through it's literally just come through so um i guess i'm gonna read it live and then we'll uh you know we'll discuss if if we get it yay I can't tell you too much still because I'll still be in the NDA. If we don't get it, I'll have to look at the small print, but I think the NDA lifts. In which case, I can tell you exactly what it was and then what B, you know, plan B, C and D is. To be honest, from what I'm told from the people we know inside local council and things, there was like 100 people went for it, 100 companies went for it. And I'm guessing a lot of them had a shitload more money than we do. Um, but uh, because we're, with us being a charity, we can't apply for the funding until we get the building. But then the way people like to sell buildings is you can't go for the building unless you can prove you've got the funding. So it's just like, it's like chicken and egg situation. So yeah, uh, very nervous. I think we are recording where everything's fine. Uh, we are I'm just, I'm using my phone. My, I'm using the Z cam, I'm using my phone as a monitor. So. We're going to go into the email. Oh, eight months of work. It won't be wasted because that same stuff we can apply to the other sites as well. So, but I'll, I'll talk about that later. So, this is a site. Further to the submission of the sifting brief, stage three. I'm pleased to confirm you have been selected to proceed to the tender stage. We are in the process of finalising the tender pack and we'll be in contact with you in a couple of days to provide access to the data room, etc. Best regards, the people we're working with. Wow! <laughs> Both excited and shitting myself, maybe? I... <laughs> okay, um, I need to reply to straight away to say I've got it. Okay, that's done. Uh, I've got my phone monitor here. <laughs> so I guess I'm still under NDA. <laughs> that makes this video awkward. <laughs> well, I've no idea how this is going to go. Um, I've no idea. Frankly, I didn't even expect us to make it through stage one. And I don't know where, that wasn't no confidence in my partners or what we got to bring to the table. But because, you know, we, we've got a brilliant idea and we've got a brilliant cause because, you know, we've converted, as you know, converted to a semi charitable status now. We can help a lot of people with that site. Um, but, y you know, I'm not a. <laughs> I, I I operate cameras for a living, you know. I'm a uh, you know an ex professional YouTuber now working in the film industry. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm got brains and stuff. Or at least I used to have before the mental health stuff. But um, I didn't expect to get through to stage fast stage one. I thought like, oh, these jokers and put it straight in the bin, and we're through to the final stage. <laughs> Right, so dear, uh, we've got the email. Um, mm -hmm. 
And we are through to the final three. Yeah, that's kind of the reaction I had. And then I realised I was recording myself and I had to um, <laughs> describe what we uh, describe what we're doing. So yeah, uh, we, we're through to. I, did you even think we'd get through to the final three? I mean, it's. I, I didn't think. You know what I mean. I was surprised we got so far, and I was like, I was quite happy with that. And it's like, oh yeah, we want to see you again. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, well done to you. <laughs> and you, sir. And you, my dear. Well, you... You wrote it all. True. Yeah, I'm doing all the bits. So, for those who are um, following it, obviously we can't say too much about it, as I said just earlier in the video there. But um, I do all the businessy stuff for us, and Nick is our creative director, so he um, basically creates and creates opportunity to create and does anything that has the word create in it. So, yeah. Um, this is where you come in, Nick, because uh, we'll have to have this uh, this offline. But uh, yeah, you're you're gonna have to get the punters in. We've got three already, as I've already told the the audience. But I can't say who they are. But uh, we've got three in. Now it's a case of uh, you know getting them punters in, so we can start. Uh, you know, so I can sell it and uh, <laughs> start um, making money in. Therefore, using that money to help people. Yay! <laughs> so, yeah, I'm very, I'm very, very pleased with that. So, scary though. Oh, he's good. He's put, yes, I know. I look. <laughs> That's what Spiffy Gear Lighting does for you. You can finally say, I haven't got any hair. <laughs> I'm taking after, you see, what they don't realise, peeps, is I'm taking after Nick. Look, can you see the difference? Look, see? He's a trendsetter. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, so um, we'll have a meeting about it, I guess, tomorrow or something. But uh, I just wanted to let you know that, yeah, because we, oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we'd already started looking at new sites, hadn't we? So it's like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, uh, we don't, I actually don't know. Uh, so for those who are watching, we don't actually know what we have to do yet so um yeah it we, that is coming tomorrow apparently and it's apparently a large download package so that yeah, <laughs> yeah. so well done nick yay uh stage four oh. whoop, whoop. on a personal level yeah that, that's really um solidified what i've been telling you guys on the video you know um I had probably one of the worst things to ever happen to me in my life. Well, several things happened at the same time. You, you know the story. And uh, completely lost my mind and had to relearn how to talk and all that. And, and you know, w when they say you, you, people tell you that you can't do something or you shouldn't do something or it's dangerous, or, you know, if you think you can do it even if it's like me I need a little bit of support these days to do it just just go and do it guys it's huh I mean even if we don't get this a side uh, the fact that we're through this so the tender process from what I understand is the final three companies out of rumors are 100 so we're through to the final three That little old me, you know, recovering PTSD guy <laughs> through to the final three companies on a multi-million pound project. Oh man, I, I, sorry, I just, this feeling of, uh, I'm not, it's not pig-headedness at all, it's not, I, it just, if you'd asked me when I was, you know, in the hospitals and in and out and seeing consultants and all that kind of stuff if I'd ever recover even just to get a part-time job or something never mind doing what we're trying to do now I, I'd have just laughed at your face and then probably attempted suicide again but that's another story but <laughs> oh. but for those of you who've been watching me and send me loads of awesome messages and support and things that a lot of you do it on Facebook and Twitter and things like that just thank you first of all but I know you guys support me because it's almost like 
catharsis for some some of you guys because you've got similar problems to me and you, or you've had similar problems and you you know you're on a knife edge whether you'll fall back there again you know on the mental health side of things and all that and and just this is proof peeps this is proof okay you can do it you get a, a life-changing event whether it be you know with broken brain or broken leg you know you, you can adapt and you, you can you can you know uh <laughs> look follow your dreams that's all don't wait for a severe life-changing event to give you that kick up the arse to finally go and do it just just do it do it yeah because it can happen you, patience consistency and being kind to yourself I, I get frustrated all the time I, I can't get the paperwork out as quick as I would do pre-diagnosis and everything and it's like it's really frustrating for me because I know before I was capable but I'm comparing myself as that person before now I'm learning to work around it and with it and, and hopefully teach other people how to do so if we get this building so you know just be kind to yourself and keep Make, taking one small step every single day and it's true what these motivational speaker cat poster type people are you just just keep plodding away and eventually good things can happen like i say even if i don't get this building this is a massive win this is oh this is just you know it's vindication you know it, it's yeah <laughs> sorry i'm i'm babbling not very entertaining um okay <sighs> there is so much to do. Okay, so, okay, let me just, Wah! right, so, stage four, final stage. As I'm recording this, this is the 4th of July, I want to say, yes. Um, happy Freedom from UK Day, American friends, I don't know. Now, they have already, they don't send you, they don't tell you what the next stage is, you know, they, they tell you literally on the day, and they go from receipt of this email, you have amount of hours to do blah 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 blah, blah. Um, I'm, trying, I'm trying to tell you what's going on without saying too much and breaking any it's really hard anyway so from what I understand from the calendar we've got from when we get this package that they're going to send us which is basically what they want us to do next we'll have until I believe it's I believe it's sometime in September off the top of my head it's all written down on, on in the in the office I'm hoping that the fact that I've been very clear about our mental health diagnoses in the whole team, they won't stick us in a, um, you know, Dragon's Den style situation, chuck us in a room with a load of money people in a table and say, right, tell us why you deserve it. Because, I, you know, but I'm hoping it's something, yeah, they'll probably want to speak to us properly, but hopefully it's not too pressured, but we'll, we'll have to we'll have to figure that out some of it is grade one some of it's grade two listed so those bits we have to preserve which we actually want to do anyway so yeah we're gonna we're gonna have to get historians i've got a, histo a prof professor of history on board already um but he is based up in the northwest um and he'll be helping us but obviously we want to get you know more local historical societies involved maybe they want to volunteer and help us preserve things it'd be nice projects for them i don't know what else we've got to do i've got to we've got we've literally got three films already booked in this building like already because literally the first film it, it's, it's supposed to be it's like a trapped in, the, in in a room kind of film so that and the room that they want to use they just don't want to touch it so literally we could get the keys and those guys could move in like day one and start filming so we need to make sure that they know they're aware of that uh, what else we got to do? Cracky. Um, I've got to start looking at recruiting and things. Um, I've got some people, fellow diagnoses, um, on, on the board already, but um, there's a person I want, I, I want to meet who we got chatting on Facebook and they live locally to, to where my house is. And they are, I think they're a newly qualified psychologist. So we were chatting about the project or as much as I could tell them and they were quite excited to learn more about it so maybe we can get them on board or they can cut their teeth with us before they go off and do whatever they, they need to do you know so we've got that to look at we've got to contact universities see if they want to use the, the, the site 
because we're, we've got two universities, one on either side, uh, well, near to the building, so they could use the site if they wanted to for their media studies. Wow, that's a lot of work. Do it! Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your f***ing hands! I like to move it, move it, fit, fit, fit.